Other than that, we're gonna go ahead and go into our favorite spot with our favorite guy, Russell. What's up, bud? It's good. What are we talking about today? Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about the differences between Japanese knives and German knives. Right on. Um, so first and foremost, the thing you'll notice is the thickness of the steel. Japanese knives will be significantly thinner on the edge or on, on the spine. Um, and then also on the edge. So, you know, if you run your fingers down this way, you're not going to feel a major drop off and here you'll feel, feel a little bit bigger drop off. So this edge is going to be slightly more obtuse. Uh, I, I, I in, like acute is super narrow and then obtuse is like more, more ax like, right? Um, the other thing you're going to notice is this bolster has a lot more steel in it and this is significantly heavier, not only because of the thickness of the steel, but the just how much steel is in that bolster. Um, another main difference is that German knives will mostly, not all the time, but mostly be a homogenous steel, meaning that this is the same steel inside, outside, and all around, right? Where most Japanese steels, you will see this little laminate line. They'll put the expensive steel on the inside and clad it with either 410 stainless, which is a, a non-hardenable stainless steel that gets super shiny and is very corrosion resistant, or they'll laminate with Damascus or uh, wh whatever steel they want to use for a, a finish that they're doing. Um, so both full tang, you, you can find more Japanese knives that are hidden tang, which will have a you know either a traditional or non-traditional wall handle on them, which will make it even more lightweight. Um, but yeah, so those are just a few of the major differences. Um, and any questions or comments, let us know and we'll cover it in the next, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Don't worry about him guys, <laughs> he'll be fine. Anyways, we'll wrap it up here. That was just a brief overview on the two knife uh, types, European and Japanese. We know there's not a traditional Japanese there, so don't harp us for that. We'll cover that another day. Other than that, we'll wrap it up here. See you on the next one.